guys. This is a reading for Aries singles. Okay. This is for Aries that are not involved with anybody as well as not really thinking about anybody in particular. Okay. Aries singles. Let's see what options you guys have for the week of November 9th through the 16th. What options does Aries have? Aries singles in love. Airy singles. What options do they have in love for November 9th through November 16th? Airy singles. Please show me. When I was shuffling off camera, I saw the world card. I saw the Queen of Cups. Five of Wands. So a lot of you guys have just completed a karmic cycle. And really, and I also saw the lover's card, but a lot of you are probably not even thinking about dating anyone else. You're kind of, you, you decided to let something go. And um, I, I feel like that was a, that was something hard for you to do with the five of wands being present. So now you're just trying to get yourself together. But let's see what's going on for Aries. What are their options? Do they have options in love for November 9th through November 16th? Looks like, yes. I, I would say yes, for sure. Um, some of you are moving towards a water sign Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and it's like you've moved away from someone else to go towards um, another person. For others of you, it looks like an Aquarius uh, is possibly coming out of a relationship and moving towards you. Could go vice versa. Let's see what else we got. And some of you are moving towards somebody, going towards someone that is not um, really looking for love, but they're very loving. And I feel like they probably were involved with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, who they are separated from or divorced from here. I feel like they, they were hurt over the relationship that they came out of, or they could possibly be still involved with this earth sign and not, not happy. So be careful if you're moving towards someone just to try to find out if they are in a committed relationship or marriage before you actually pursue them. And then for others of you, I see somebody moving towards you, especially if you're a man. If you're a man, somebody's coming towards you that is interested in you, that sees you as, oh, my phone's ringing, I'm sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Forgot to silence it. Okay, sorry about that. Let me put it on silent real quick. Yeah, so if you're a man, somebody's coming towards you that just came out of a relationship that was very um, hectic and they see you as somebody that, <clears throat> somebody that is loving, um, emotionally stable, okay? So just, just be you know, wary of that because sometimes, you know, this person may be coming out of a relationship where it was not a good relationship and trying to, you know, that saying, you know, using 
getting up under somebody to get over somebody. So that may be the case. It may not, but you know, it could quite possibly be the case. And um, for women that are going towards um, a man in this, this situation, be careful that he is not married or in a commitment, okay? Then we have this card that jumped out, the sun card here. Now, for some of you, it's like you like someone, they're connected with somebody else who is also connected with somebody else that is a Leo. Or this could quite possibly be somebody that you are connecting with or is interested in that is connected with someone else that sees freedom. They want out of that connection um, or marriage here. So they may still be together, but the wife or the girlfriend in that situation sees um, happiness outside of the marriage, like wanting a divorce, seeing that, being enlightened about um, the situation at hand and possibly want a divorce. Because the Six of Swords, which is card of Aquarius, is looking at the King of Cups who's looking in the direction of the Queen of Pentacles, but looking down, kind of sad. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles has her back turned and looking at the sun, okay? So she's seeking happiness in this situation. And I feel like it's away from the King of Cups, okay? We also have at the bottom of the deck, uh, the King of Swords, which is the card of Aquarius. So Aries, I kind of feel like You may have Aquarius in your chart heavily, or this King of Cups does, okay? Because even though this King of Cups is facing the Queen of Pentacles, which is their main person that they've been involved with in a commitment, I feel like they may be feeling you too here. But they know that they are um, connected with somebody already. So that's probably why they haven't come towards you and you are going towards them here. Yeah, and see, I saw the Five of Wands as I was shuffling. So the Five of Wands is, you know, having mental conflict. Um, it's, it's trying to figure out something, trying to figure out the best way to handle something here. And I feel like that is what you're doing since you've left something that was tumultuous, um, you know, had you all, you know, your head in upheaval and you probably were involved with something or someone where there was a lot of arguments going on, um, trying to one up the other in a situation here. There is the King of Wands, which is you Aries and you know, Pay no mind to the gender of the cards themselves because this could very well be, the King of Wands could be a woman, okay? It's just standing in her masculine power. Sometimes a single parent um, that's doing everything, like say for instance, you are um, a single parent and the other, the other party or the other parent is not caring for the kids, then you know, you're doing everything. Like you'd be a mother, father, um, provider, you know, all of those things. And you could possibly come up as a King of Wands. I do in a lot of the readings come up at this, as a King of Wands here. So what this looks like is that um, you're looking back, like you, you figured out what it is that you want because you're looking back at this five of wands like I'm done with that, okay? No more of that. So now the king of cups is looking down at you, okay? So now they are, I feel like the king of cups and it could be a same sex relationship or it could be a heterosexual relationship, depending on, you know, where you guys are, you know, exhibiting your, your energy. Okay. So the King of Cups is interested in you. This person is interested in you. Okay. And you're interested in them. Obviously they're just, you know, I, I feel like they are connected with somebody that, um, 
that they have a history with that they were married to or you know have children with but i don't feel like there is a love connection still there with you know whoever they're involved with because they're looking down at you okay yeah this this whoever they're connected with they are trying to just find love within themselves. They are accepting love from the universe. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is really just trying to get herself together. For some reason, I feel like, you know, it was a stable relationship as far as finances went. Um, but I don't feel like there is enough love that this King of Cups is feeling coming from the King of the Queen of Pentacles here. Which is why they look down to you. They look not down at you. Not like that. But like they're looking at you as somebody that is very attractive, very um, passionate. They see you as somebody that could also bring them this love. Okay? They feel like you have it in you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is um, indicative of a fixed sign. Scorpio, Leo, um, Taurus, Aquarius as well. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning and it's sitting right under the sun. So I feel like in this situation, I feel like you're going to get what it is that you actually deserve and want with the Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, that will is turning, the energy is circulating, and it is it is bringing people what it is that they really want and what they really need here. So I feel like if if you guys and this King of Cups are to be together, if that is what you actually want and need, that's going to happen. This Queen of Pentacles that's in their life is going to get what she actually wants and needs in this situation, and that's to be enlightened and be happy and just be receive um love from the universe from god and spiritually and i feel like that's where she is so in this case i feel like you do have options in this cancer scorpio pisces or somebody that has this energy okay the signs are they don't matter but if you know somebody that you're interested in they could possibly be an earth sign that just has a lot of watery energy that they exhibit okay all right, Aries, so those are your options, or that is your option for November 9th through the 16th. Okay, guys, I will be speaking with you later.